I need you guys to, to be very quiet and listen up. We have a very, very special treat for you this afternoon. Our third, fourth, and fifth graders have been working really hard over the last couple of months in preparation for this big day. So what I'm asking for you, and this is a big change, because normally when we come into the, into the gymnasium, we are sitting pretzel style on the floor. But today, we are trying a new experiment. And today we brought in chairs for you guys to sit. So as a reminder, all right, we need to make sure that we are, are, we are sitting on our bottoms with our feet in front of us. If they touch the floor, that is great. If they don't touch the floor, that is okay too. All right, but I want you guys to sit. I want you to give the respect that your, that your classmates deserve that we are in for a treat. So let's start the show by giving everybody a round of applause. No country is better to represent the world of world, ah, the, the music of world music than Brazil, from its world famous street drummers to its African and Caribbean influenced pop music, Brazil and, and uh, embraces the music of many cultures. Many languages are spoke in Brazil through Portuguese is the official language. Uma Familia means one family in Portuguese. with any of a very large number of social dances of a type that originated in the British Isles. It is repeated, it is, 
It is the repeated execution of a predefined sequence of figures, carefully designed to fit a fixed length of music, performed by a group of people, usually in couples in one or more sets. The figure involves interaction with your partner and or with other dancers, usually, usually with a progression so that you dance with everyone in your set. You'll perform two circle dances in the Virginia Reel, generally considered to be an English country dance. The dance was most popular in America from 1830 to 1890. We will dance to three popular folk songs, Old Brass Wagon, Turkey in a Straw, and Old Susanna.
Shenandoah or across the wide Missouri is a traditional American folk song dating to the early 19th century. The, the Water is Wide is a folk song of Scottish origin based on lyrics that partly date to the 1600s. We will perform an arrangement that includes parts of both songs. Swahili is a Bantu language of the Swahili people. The Swahili people live in eastern and southeastern Africa. Swahili serves as the national language for the four nations, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, and Democratic Republic of the Congo. The exact number of Swahili speakers, be it native or second language speakers, is unknown and a matter of debate. Various estimates have been put forward and they vary widely from 100 million to over 150 million. Dansi na kuwimba means dance and sing in Swahili.
The orchestra will begin with Rondina, arranged by Merle Isaac. Isaac focused on arranging famous pieces for performers of lower experience, especially school orchestras. After graduating from Va Vandercook College of, of Music in 1932, he began to teach at John Marshall High School in Chicago, Illinois. While he was there, Isaac realized that there was no good music available to lower orchestras and began to arrange music for his orchestra. After 35 years working in Chicago area schools, he retired from education. Though he continued to be a clinician and guest conductor around the county, and also continuing continued arranging. Book, both classes will perform Pepperoni Pizza and Grandparents Day. From Dr. Sheehan's class, Olivia Smith and Brian Moore will perform Ode to Joy.
por portion of our concert with an original composition called Medieval Kings. Written in the spirit of ancient history and chants, this piece takes listeners back in time to the medieval days of tournaments, knights, and kings. first performed Joplin in honor of Scott Joplin, who is one of the most popular compo composers of ragtime music. Ragtime music enjoyed its peak popularity between 1895 and 1919, featuring basic functional harmonies and syncopated rhythms. Three of Joplin's best loved melodies are included in this melody of favorites. We start with the maple leaf rag, then move into solace, the beautiful Mexican sonata, and finish off with Joplin's most famous, famous rag, the entertainer.
George Gershwin for the 1935 opera Porky and Bess. The song soon became popular and much recorded jazz standard. Trapper's Ball is a 1939 jazz composition by Joe Bishop and Woody Herman. The up-tempo blues tune was the Woody Herman Orchestra's biggest hit, as well as the most popular composition of either composer, selling a million records. Our arrangement was created by former Upper Army music teacher Brad Shaner. We will feature some of the students improvising over the 12-bar blues changes.
ladies and gentlemen, let's give all of our participants a big round of applause. And thank you guys. This was a very important this was a very important show for our for our students because it is a big dress rehearsal for tonight's performance. So I want to thank you guys for being an active participant, making sure you are listening. Right, I saw you swinging your feet with the music, and I really liked how you joined clapping your hands at the very end. So let's give everybody another big round of applause. All right.